Hey, what's up you guys? It's Zach with PC Bros. And today I'm gonna to show you how to set up a triple monitor setup. As you can see here, we have three completely different monitors. I wanted to make this as random as possible and different configurations so I can show you how to do vertical and stuff like that. So let's get right into it. You might've seen our dual monitor video, which is gonna be very similar to this one, but this one I'm gonna throw a little bit more curve balls. It's gonna have a wider range of help. Here's everything that you are going to need to make this work. Step one, you're obviously gonna need a computer. I'm using a gaming PC for this demonstration. That just means that we're gonna have more display options because we will be using a GPU. We are going to need power cables for all three of the monitors. Your monitor should come with the power cable. Most will come with something like this. I already have all three of the power cables plugged in to here. Don't look at that, that's a mess. Now this might look intimidating at first, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is to actually set this up. Once you can set up three monitors, you can set up as many as you want. All right, you're also gonna need display cables for each of the monitors. This is the trickiest part. And once you have this figured out, it's actually gonna be a breeze. So you see on the back of each monitor, you have different display options. This one only has two. This has a VGA option, so a lesser signal, and an HDMI option. This will be the higher quality signal. You always wanna go with the highest quality if possible. So underneath here, you see this one has two options as well. This one has the VGA and the display port. Display port usually has this button. And this one has two options that are higher quality. This has the HDMI and display port as well. All right, so let's get into starting the whole process here. So we're going to have to play off of what our graphics card offers. We have two different display options here and four ports. So these options are display port and one HDMI. So we're gonna have to make this work with the three monitors we have. Unfortunately, we will not be able to use the display options on the motherboard because we have a dedicated GPU. So the cleanest way to do this is get display cables with the same on both sides. Now it's usually not this simple. Sometimes our monitors don't have the same options as our GPU. So I'll show you what to do about that in a second. I'll give you one example of a super easy clean option like this display port to display port. So we're going to go ahead and plug in one display port and then the other one into the first monitor. All right, we have one connected. Now the second one, we also have display port. Technically I could just do this and that'd be easy, but I wanna give you all a little bit of a curveball here in case you don't have as clean of options as this right here. All right, let's pretend for a second. This is a really old monitor and all you have is a VGA port. So really old display, really low quality display, but your graphics card does not have a VGA port. There are cables that are HDMI to VGA. So when you have something like this, you wanna make sure the higher quality display is going into the computer, so HDMI, and then you take the lower quality display into the monitor, get the VGA. You wanna make sure you screw in your VGA and DVI ports. All right, so we have two displays in we got this last one to go. This one has, again, VGA and HDMI. And our PC only has display port options left. So what we're gonna have to do is find display port to VGA or HDMI. Luckily, I have a display port to HDMI. That would be preferred, it would be the higher quality. So I'm gonna go get that and then show you. All right, we have the HDMI to display port or display port to HDMI. Now, let me show you the difference between these cables. One is more rectangle, while the other one's a little bit more tapered. And display ports usually have this switch that you push down and then you pull. We're going to pick the closest display port option in the PC here. Plug that in, make sure it's in. And then we're going to take the HDMI and plug it into our last display. All right, we got the hardest part done. Now the moment of truth. We're gonna turn it on and make sure everything is working properly. It's important to watch each monitor and make sure that you're seeing a light or the monitor turn on. Looks like that one just turned on. It's getting the display. There we go, got another one. 
and then that got that one working. So they all might turn on at different times. All right, so this is a little unfortunate. The vertical display is counting as the main one. So I'm just gonna flip this back over and get it to the setup position. And this is a good sight to see. Looks like all three monitors turned on and displayed, but the configuration is not quite correct. As you can see here, it won't go to that right monitor. So I'm gonna show you all about monitor configuration here in the next step. All right, so go to the search bar and type in display settings. It looks like it showed up on my other monitor. So it is detecting all three of my monitors. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is click identify, and there will be a number in the bottom left of the screen that will show you this is number two, that's number three, and this is counting as number one. So we do not want that. We're going to take the number on the bottom left, match it with the ones here. So this is number three, the middle one. Number one is the one on the right, and number two is the one on the left. To change number one to portrait mode, you wanna click that monitor, scroll down, and where it says here on display orientation, we're gonna to go to portrait. So we see here that now it is flipped. You want to keep changes. Now it's kind of weird, you move the mouse over, and now it's lower, it's way lower. So this is just a little nitpick. I mean, some people don't care about this. You can actually change how high and low the monitors are by moving these. You see, you move this here, and it'll actually change where the mouse is going when you bring it over to the other side. So I like to make it as close as I can to what my setup actually looks like. You can play around with it until you get it to what you like. All right, so this worked out quite nicely, but what if your monitor does not display? Let me show you a couple ways to troubleshoot that. Every monitor is gonna be a little bit different. I've tried to pick as wide of a range of monitors as I could and different display options. But if it's just not detecting it, here's a couple things to try. The first ones are gonna sound kind of obvious, but we wanna make sure the power cable is plugged in all the way. Sometimes these are pretty loose. And then you picked the right display cable. Just to double check, you wanna make sure if you have two different display options that the higher display option like DisplayPort or HDMI is in the computer and then the lower quality is in that monitor. Now another thing to try, and this will be different for every monitor again, but basically the same idea, is make sure it is on the right display option on the monitor itself. Each monitor has some sort of settings button. Usually it's gonna be in something called input source. So most monitors will go to some sort of auto detect, but it does detect that there is the display port and the VGA, the two ports. Sometimes if it's not displaying, you are on the wrong one here. All right guys, hope this helped on a triple monitor setup. Let me know in the comments what other things I can do to help if this didn't work out, because sometimes monitors can be confusing. But for the most part, this should cover a lot of different bases. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.